Hi everyone, it's Gail and I am here today. We are going to work in this journal, which is one that I am keeping for myself. It's an idea journal. Um, I wanted to keep all the ideas that I did in the Don't Freak Out Before Christmas uh, challenge that Dee Dee Farago on, um, on Etsy or on uh, YouTube did. So um, that's what this book is going to be. Many of you have asked about this cover and um, I could not find it in my purchases. Finally found it. Creations by Dana Kay. I'll put her link into the description box, but I will tell you her shop is closed. She's having some health challenges and her shop is closed right now. So keep Dana in your prayers. Um, I, I think she would appreciate that. So uh, we're going to get started on that. But first, hi and hugs to Evelyn, Christy, Angie, and Jeanetta. I think that's how you say it. Um, could be Janetta, but I think it's Jeanetta. Um, anyway, that's how it's spelled. So, uh, I hope I said that right. Cheesy peasy. <laughs> okay, let's get started. Um, oh my goodness. I have, I have quite the mess here and I've, I've been, I've been doing, um, die cutting. I got some new die cuts and I've been playing with those. So that's, that's. Part of where the mess is from. Okie dokie. I think first things first, I'm going to just bind this up real quick. And um, I am not going to put in a doily or anything because I think, like I say, this is just, this one is for the ideas. I kind of changed my mind. This was going to be my December daily, but I've decided to do the one that, um, is a, is a little traveler's notebook and kind of do it bullet style because I don't think there's going to be a whole lot going on. <laughs> and so I, I decided I don't need these, these big pages. I can, I can play in that little traveler's notebook. So that's my plan. And this is going to be my idea book. Now, you know, you can do an idea book just in general, which <laughs> I have, well, I had one and then a long time ago, I did a video of um, the first idea book and, uh, and um, then as I told you, okay, well, now I have two idea books. Well, then I went from two idea books to an idea basket and now I have um and then I went to an idea shelf now I have an idea sh uh cupboard so <laughs> that's how that goes so yeah once we once we kind of get done with Christmas I really wanted to start doing some ephemera making ephemera you know I had that series going and I want to get back to it because there's so many awesome ideas that I want to um, want to try out myself and everything. So, so yeah. But um, I think these are great because then you can just you can just grab your um, your idea journal and um, and you know, make an idea or make one of your ideas in whatever style, theme, whatever you're doing in, in the journal that you're working on. So, um, I am not explaining this, this, uh, sewing in because you guys have seen me done it. <laughs> You've seen me done it. You've seen me do it a hundred times. So I'm just, I'm just going for it here. Just getting her done. Um, but yeah, yeah, so anyway, the first video that I did on my idea journal was a long, long time ago, and it was in response to, um, I had read, somebody on Facebook was, was saying, how do you remember the ideas? There's so many ideas out there and everything. How do you remember it? So I did the video to show my idea journal at that time 
and uh, yeah, so it's an oldie. <laughs> it's an oldie in the uh, in the archives of my channel. Goodness, I haven't looked for a long time to see how many videos I have out there, but I know it's a bunch. It's a bunch because doing it every day, you know, that would equal 365 a year. <laughs> At least, because, you know, I do the bonus videos every now and again as well. So, there you go. Okay, so we've got it. We've got it all sewn in. That's a good thing. And then, I will just start putting the ideas in here. more or less just decorating this journal is what we're doing. Just putting the ideas in. Okay, so, and then if we get this done, we'll just start working on another one, I guess, yeah. Okay, so this digital in this one is the Christmas at your door from a jeweled design. I absolutely love this kit. Um, love this love this so look at that isn't that beautiful so yeah a jeweled design has has this one look at this beautiful door yeah such a clever idea i thought okay so now let's see what we have here i wouldn't mind putting a pocket or something there Most of my things are uppy downy type type of thing. Oh, there is this one though. That could be pretty there. Yep, yeah, let's put that there. Just re uh, recalling what I have in here, kind of. <clears throat> oh, although that one is quite long, and that would be. Okay, I think I'm going to put that one there. I think I'm going to put this one back here. Okay, because that was, this one was a bit too long for um, a page. And maybe it's meant to go like this. But the bells are going up and down. So, <laughs> so I'm going to do it that way. Okay, I have a fabric flip in here. Like, I'm never going to forget that idea. But, you know. Um, where would we like to put it? Usually I try and put them on a super blank page. So let's put that there. Um, I've got a couple of things here from Candace and she is journal me crazy on Etsy. I can't find her shop and you guys haven't been able to either. So I don't know if she sent me this and then didn't end up getting open for some reason. I don't know, but um, but she's not there. So I, I, I don't know, you guys, I, I don't know. So I think I'll put her pieces on a page. I just thought her bunnies, I wonder if I could just slip this one in the pocket. That would be cute. And with her note. Let's just put that on the on this side of this. Okay. All right. I am going to put this next one kind of toward the back. And I'm kind of thinking I'm kind of thinking of just using these and leaving Jolene's pretty papers although the back sides are the same on every one. So I could do that. Hmm. I don't like it next to that. But I want it towards the back, so maybe I will do this. And I want it towards the back because oh, except that's too it's not long enough because this is kind of big. So maybe we'll put it right here. Yep. Yep, that'll work. Okay. 
So might as well put something on the other side on that page, which is right here. Um, looking through, see. So this has to go on the other page. Could put this one on this side. It's got a little card that slips in, see, so like that. Okay, I'm gonna put that one there. Okay, so then okay, that one's there. on there. I don't know why I'm going for the tall ones right off the bat here, but that's good. Okay, that could go there. Let's go flip over to the other side and do the other side of that, which the reason I'm doing that is it just balances out your journal a little bit as far as where stuff is placed. This one here. Yep, that'd be good. Okay, and then there, there, maybe like right here or on this side. Oh, look at this. This one has the same paper. love this but I might cover it up I'm gonna put that right there okay let's go to the other side of that one which is here so we could go on this side, this side. is that is that the right page I don't think so no it's not That is okay. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> just having having trouble figuring that out. My world here. Um, that one's fun. Not sure where that one goes. So I'll go with that. Hmm. I have an extra tag. It's befuddling me. Okay, so this one we'll put there. And we have over the page and belly clip, and we have this one which goes on the side. Yeah, that goes on the side. So maybe we'll put this, this one on this red page. I'm just gonna slip it over for now. There we go. And then on this one, We'll just go to the side there, and I actually have something we're going to decorate and put on. And all these, all these will be decorated too. And then there's this one also, which I don't know where we'll put that yet. Let's see. This one is kind of different because it's kind of bluish. So I'm thinking I kind of like it across from maybe on this side across from one of these um, sheets like I could put it right there as a tuck and see because this is my idea journal this has measurements a lot of them have measurements for the particular piece okay this little sack got this little sack and we've got this pocket 
yet. All right, so it's gonna be a chunky monkey, but this is gonna be such a great reference for the ideas, I think. How about, did I have on the green? Had that, so let's do this one here. I'm gonna put that on as a tuck as well. And probably this one too. Um, okay, so let's see where we don't have something. Okay, let's do the back of this one. I'm going to put this guy here. And I think I would put it on gluing like that to stick something under there. I don't know if this was supposed to go on the back of that. I don't know. I, I need to look at my other basket. And then this one can go on the other side of that. Like here. Okay, let's... Let me look at the basket and see what this goes with. Um, if I can see another one. That is like that. Huh. I am not sure. Yep, those didn't have it. The sacks. Oh, these were supposed to go sideways. That's right. That's all right. We're going the other way. Hmm. I don't remember one like that in here. Guys, I don't. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay. Just wanted to make sure I had that one. Oh, there it is. Oh, it goes with that. Okay, that's why we put, let me show you, we put ours at the back, like right there, which we can still put that tag in there. That's fine. Okay, and then the only thing I have left is this little clippy thing. And then I have some of the ephemera from, from the kit. Nope, that one's right there. Um, maybe I'll put it here. Yeah, I think so. And then that will just be a little extra embellishment on that page. Okay. So we are ready to start putting things in. I think we can decorate kind of as we go. Because like this could use something right there, right? Now we could go sideways as it was intended. Let's do that. Depending on what we have to go here. Um... I was thinking, just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. Okay. Okay, I had done some fussy cutting last night. And I had done some with um, Mrs. Cog's little mini art collection Santa Claus and so I was thinking maybe one of these little things would be cute on here maybe with a little backing Okay, 
Um, I think I want some book page behind it. Good. So, hope life is good for all of my pals out there. We are, it's, I was looking out the window. Nope, it stopped snowing. It snowed all day yesterday. We had about eight inches when we woke up and then it snowed all day and it snowed some in the night. Not as much, just had a couple inches from that, but... But yeah, Mike had to get the snowblower out crazy. I mean, it is that time of year here, but we've had such unseasonably nice weather that it's been, it was weird <laughs> to have, have winter come on like that. Okay, so. And this one is super cute. It's just got these little, these little guys that come out. We must not have made anything to go behind, but that's okay. You can, you can do that. Okay, and then well then that I need to need to do that but I also need to take a little chunk out where the maybe I'll just just do that I'll just take out a little chunk where the thumb hole is see if I can do that yeah good so yeah so anyways we have a lot of snow out there which of course makes this mom nervous because my son and family are traveling back from celebrating my daughter's birthday. So hopefully the roads will be good. My son taught me a long time ago. He said he was in college and he was going on a road trip and I said, oh gosh, he had such a crummy little car. <laughs> and he was going a long way. He was going from Montana to Seattle to see some buddies that were at Seattle U. And uh, I said, oh gosh, be careful. I'm, I'm concerned about the car and stuff. And he said, mom, worry is a negative emotion and I don't need your negative energy right now. Okay, I says, okay. Um, he said, he just, he said, just send me on my way with love and good wishes. And that I appreciate. And I'm like, okay, out of the mouths of babes. <laughs> Teaching your old mama. Okay, so that's super cute, I think. And so that can go here, right there. I think I'm going to go ahead and do this as a top loading this way. Okay. So, so anyway, yeah. But they're stop it's great because they're stopping here because we've been babysitting their dog. So we get to see them at lunchtime. So I'm doing my doing my video first thing this morning so I can then just enjoy their visit, however long it will be. There we go. Okay, so something can be stuck in the top there. I actually think I would like this tag better there. Yeah, that is actually really good. What do we want to put on that tag, though? 
needs to be decorated. Um, how about I look in my giant thing of a thing? <laughs> oh goodness, okay, get it, get it out here. I have it on my lap just because it's too big. Oh, I have a thought. Let's see, hang on. Hang on, hang in there, let's see. I thought some of these might be long, but they're not. Okay, so no. Well, there's another one. I was thinking of this Santa face, but it's too wide. How about that Santa? He's cute. We could put Santa on there and then a little label. Actually, what if we it wide enough for this oh just okay this book belongs to you right so let's use the Santa sticker I'm use I'm using my stuff just gonna do it oh my goodness the heater comes on and I forget how warm it gets it's right in the in the ceiling of my craft room and it comes on and it's like, phew, <laughs> okay. It was cold before, but not anymore. Okay, let's put this Santa on there. He's so cute. Carefully peel him off here. Okay. Just maybe right about there. Oh, isn't he cute? He is so cute. Okay. All right. So then, okay, so then I'm going to stamp that. Grab my stamp and pad thing. Helpful if you have ink. Not completely necessary. Yeah, it is completely necessary. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, yes. Okay. Put those things back. All right. Yay. Okay. So that is happy. I really like that page. That came out great. Just great. You know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to stick this on the back so that I don't forget whose kit this is. Okay. Got that done. That page is good to go. So then, then we have this one. <clears throat> so we put it on just with the three sides. It's a little big, but it's okay. And we got to make sure we have room for this butterfly. Okay. So I'm going to go a little bit down this away. I mean, you could clip this on because it can be written on. I think I might do that. Where's that paper clip that we were just randomly putting in here? There it is, I think. Yep. What if we put it on here? Just just like that. 
Oh, but then we can't do that. Never mind. Never mind. So I probably backed it for no good reason, is what I'm telling you. <laughs> and I don't remember if Dee Dee backed her. She probably, I, I followed her directions, so probably. I'll um, try and remember to link Dee Dee's channel to this video as well. Slide over a little bit so that the butterfly has, has room. Okay, so we did that. Okay, and then these tags need decorating too, but maybe we'll, we might wait to do that. I wanna get this all put together for sure first. Okay, so then this just pops right in there. Okay, that one's in. This one, easy peasy, just pop it right there. This is the glassine. So we'll just glue that in. And I'm going to do it as a tuck. And I'm thinking if I come up with some other ideas for things to be tucked in that, that they could they can go in these tucks. So this one was just collaged and then with a um, die cut on it. And then the little tag or journaling card is um, napkin um, napkin on cardstock. Okay, so there's that one. It's this one. Ooh, it goes that way. So we're going to have to put it over here so we're not going to put it there we're going to put it someplace else oh shoot I didn't realize it it opens on this side and so then I have I just have a journaling card in it see it's backed back there it's a window envelope okay so well let's just put it here no, <laughs> let's go over there. Duh, Gail, geez. Okay, let's just trade out this one for this, for this one. We'll just put this there. Okay. Okay, so this goes on as a top loader. Whew, that was way more difficult than it needed to be, wasn't it? cute this is. I love this paper. Um, that was a Florentine paper, I do believe, from, from Italy. Okay, I'm not going to shove that all the way down because I don't want it to. Okay, okay. Now back to this area. Okay, so this one's going to go here, and we put that down, and then we pop that in. Okay, so once again, it's a little tall for my journal, so I'm just going to go down a bit. to the end and 
like you can see I have my measurements there which doesn't look super cute so I might <laughs> might tuck those tuck this in or something yeah I could tuck it back here can I go in there yeah and my dimensions are there. And then it just has avocado dyed paper that we're gonna stick behind. Like so. Avocado dyed and then um, gold, Inca gold around the edges. Okay, that one's in. Okay, we've got the over the page and belly clip which that's ugly but we'll figure out we'll put it on the back of whatever we put on that okay that one's in okay we just got to put this one as a tuck or do we want it no I want to do three sides and have that to be able to put something in either way Whatever works best in your book, right? Okay. Pop that right there. And on we go. Okay, we've got a little fabric flip here. Sounds like my husband's going out to shovel, going out to shovel the skiff we got last night. All our trees haven't lost their leaves yet, so a lot of the branches are just like, you know, could break at the at a moment's notice. Okay, so I was thinking of putting this here as three-sided from Candace. I hope you watch this, Candace, and please do let us know in the comments what's going on with your Etsy store because we can't find it and I don't have I don't know where to get a hold of you to ask you. So do let us know if you watch this, what's going on. Because you make wonderful things. We'd all like to shop there. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, I need to flip this over so I can get a good, good grip there. Okay. Yeah, so this guy's going to be... A chunky monkey with all the stuff we have to put in. Nope, I'm going to wait on that because it's just still sticking. Okay, then we have this one. <clears throat> it's going to be fun to go back and decorate these. And then this one is going to go around the three sides. You might hear my son's dog cry because every time Mike leaves the room, he cries. <laughs> it's so funny because every time my daughter-in-law leaves the room, he cries. So I told my husband, you've replaced our daughter-in-law in his affections. <laughs> That's what she gets for leaving him. <laughs> He's such a sweet boy. Yeah, he's been good. He just kind of hangs out, lays around. He's older. And so, although we had a little play with the ball last 
last night too, which was fun. Okay, I'm gonna leave that out a little bit just while it dries. Okay, there's that. Now we need to put in this, which, ooh, I gotta get the, gotta get the um, glue right up to the edge. Because there's not a lot of wiggle room. Oops. I could always cut down the tag a bit too. That wouldn't be a problem. No problemo there. Okay. I do love how quickly our glitter glue adheres because for things like this, it's a good thing. I'm just going to put the tag right there for now. Okay, I'm going to put this one here, I think is what we said. Okay. Either way, either way. A little tuck out of this one. Okay. And then we have this little lumpy bumpy dude. So once again, I need to just put it right on the edge. I'm going to actually slide this over a bit so this doesn't hang out quite so much. Yeah, that'll be good. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna give this a little room at the top because it hangs over just a skosh. right down to the bottom. Like right there. Okay. I think we're almost there. I think we have the back pocket. Is all. I do believe. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to leave it out for now let that dry up a little bit okay and then this one we're gonna just put on as a top loader okay I'll put it right in the corner there Alrighty then, everything's glued in at the moment. Now it's just kind of some decorating, which will be fun. Okay, so, and where did we have? So, now this guy can go in there. That page is all done, because he's all, he's all decorated. We were gonna put this here, I think. Okay, one other thing that I have to put in the book is this. I just made this little journaling thing out of um, when on Scrappy Saturday, and I just want to decorate it and put it in one of the tucks in here. So we'll set you aside for a second. So my thought was I had these um, vintage Christmas photos from TaylorMade Journals. And I was wondering if one of those would go on, but I don't know. It's pretty good. I feel like they might be a little bit small. I like this one too. Oh, I like that one. Okay, what we're gonna do is kind of put a little frame around that. Oh. No, you know which one I wanted to do? 
we'll find it quick here was the little dude in the ice skates with the pillow on his bum I thought that was so cute that was actually what made me buy the kit was that one picture but there's a lot of really cute Christmas children pictures here let's see this one's really cute too with the kids with the Christmas tree and the tinsel I like that one too where are you little dude Said I'd find it quick, didn't I? Maybe not as quick as I thought. Guy, where are you? Oh yeah, I'm putting him on there because I'm keeping this journal. And I love him. Okay. Okay, little dude. Little dude-a-rama. You're going to get a little bit of a, a frame around you. I think um, I have lots of Christmas paper scraps that would do the trick, I do believe. Okay, let's see here. Um, get out my scraps here. What do I have that would frame you nicely? Well, no, not that. I mean, I do have just some cardstock. would work wouldn't it okay. get my cutter yeah because otherwise I don't want him to just blend into the music paper you know keep that cardstock for something else Oh my gosh, she's so cute. going to put him on there. Actually, I think what I might do is put him on as a pocket because we could put something in the side or on the top, maybe on the side. Yeah, why not? doesn't hurt anything, even if I don't put anything there, right? Okay. So cute. I guess I don't know that it's a little guy. It could be a little girl. But it looks like little boy pants and sweater from that era. So I wonder if I have something from the kit that could go in the side. I don't know. Let's look. Oh, that's pocket. Nope. But I see something else I want to decorate. Okay, let's just get this in to one of the tucks. Oh, that's cute because he's peeking out. Okay. Um, so what I would like to do is right here, because I just saw something in the bag. Okay, this is going to be here. Okay, I was just 
seeing the words that come in the kit and was thinking about putting the words on there. I think that's what I'll do. I'm just checking out which words I want. Okay. I think I'm going to go on one side. I'm going to go faith. Comfort. And love. Okay. Kind of wondering. Yeah, I need something behind them. I do. Um. Pulling out my stickers. Some of this is just too big to, you know, what might be fun is a little bit of fabric. Just grabbing what's on top. There's this, which could be good, except that it's a little wide. But that would really make that pop. Yep. Okay, what I'm going to do is cut six of these right off. I should probably check my time too, shouldn't I? Two. Three. Five. Six. Okay, and then what I want to do is I can do two at a time or so. Just see where I want to cut this off. And I'm going to use my pinking shears because that's what's on. Let's see, I think I'm going to go with this end on this one. Okay. Those itty bits could probably be used for something. I can do two at a time. So that one there. And that one right here. Okay. Oh man, we're out of time. I was having too much fun, wasn't I? So I might finish this piece, but then we'll we'll work some more on this at other times. I'm bouncing back and forth between journals, so it's not going to be like a start to finish on anything. It's going to be uh, what Gail can get done in a video thing. Okay. 
So what I'm going to do is just put those on like that. So put this one on and then we can call it a video. And I'll just finish it up and try and remember to show you next time the finished finished one. I didn't think we were anywhere close to being done with this video. Holy cow, time flies when you're having fun. Yes, I really like that. It pops it pretty well. I think we can do a couple more. Not that you aren't going to know what's happening, but you know, why shut off the video before, before an hour? Comfort is this one. Then we'll have this side done. So I um, won't have to remember to show you it next video. Okay. There's that one. I think that was a genius idea of Dee Dee Farrago to do the um, Don't Freak Out Before Christmas because, you know, if you tried to make all this stuff as you're doing the journal, I'd get one journal done this Christmas, which is usually what I've done. So I think this way we'll be able to make more maybe <laughs> okay that's super cute I like that I'll do the other side and then um, well let's do one at least one on this side what are we gonna say I want to say Santa and Santa stocking how about I'm gonna go stocking Santa and how about Christmas? Okay. Just do one over here so you can see the red side too. Alrighty. Red side's going to be cute too, I think. Okay, so that will be what the red side looks like. Okay, guys, I'm going to let you go. Thank you so much for crafting with me today. Hope you liked the idea of an idea journal. And we'll just see you in the next video. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.